Chelsea. I'm just roaming the grounds here at Wrinkle Pumpkin Farm in Glen Carbon, where there's fun for the whole family available. Whoa, Nelly. Like a glove. Fits me perfect. Just showing up on my tractor here on the farm. Jennifer and Eric joining me this morning as we get ready for all the fun out here at Wrinkle Pumpkin Farm. And uh, pumpkins are part of the game, right? Always. <laughs> got lots of pumpkins. We don't have any that won't be perfect on your porch. <laughs> yeah, and if whatever your perfect pumpkin is, there's a pretty good chance you're going to find it here. Uh, Eric, this started off just as a hobby for you and it's turned into something so much more. Bigger than I ever could expect. <laughs> Tell me how it got started. It got started by accident. I bought some seeds and threw them out, and uh, it just keeps, every year I just keep getting bigger and bigger, and now in our backyard, it's pumpkins everywhere. It is, it is pumpkins everywhere. Just take a look around. All kinds of pumpkins. We'll get to those in just a minute, but lots of fun to be had as well. Exactly. So we are actually going to have a haunted corn maze here in about two, three weeks on the 21st and 22nd from 7 to 10. You're going to be able to come out, walk through the corn maze. We'll have sets set up. People will be out there scaring you. Um, you can buy your tickets online in advance. Or you can buy them at the door, and it is recommended for ages 12 and up. If you think your kid is good and able to handle that, by all means, bring them out. Come on out. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, Randy's Barbecue's in the house, too, as well. They'll be out here serving up some goodies. Tell me what you got here on the menu. We have our smoked wings, and then mm. we also have our barbecue nachos. A little bit of both on there. We've got the pulled pork and the buffalo chicken. And then I've also got my gooey butter cake. A couple of flavors that I have currently is the banana split. Unbelievable. And as well as a carrot cake. Nice. So you got to have some snacks when you're out on the farm, right? Exactly. Also, Kathy's Kettle Corn is here. That's a, a crowd favorite as well. Exactly. We sell a lot of it, and we make it fresh right in front of you. And uh, it's it's delicious. I'll eat about two bags a day. It's pretty bad. <laughs> they, make, they make so many pumpkins here, they didn't know what to do with all of them, so pumpkin butter became yes, one of the things. Yes, yeah. So we made, this pumpkin butter was made in southern Illinois by the Amish. It's from leftover pumpkins from last year for the pie pumpkins. And then we also got some apple butter made as well. Um, and you can get a bundled deal with that as well if you want both of them. And you can get free samples. All you have to do is ask for them. All you got to do is ask. There you go. And of course, pumpkins. It's Wrinkle Pumpkin Farm. Yep. All kinds of varieties of pumpkins Oh here. yes, there's at least 80 different kinds of pumpkins, gourds, squash, and all kinds of stuff. The, different colors? Colors, different orange, kinds. pinks, blues, reds, whites, browns, whites with green stripes, and you even whites with red stripes. You even sell the ones that are that, that are pretty large in size yeah, too. Like, Tell me about this one right like, over here. Uh, that's easily 170 pounds and that's 40 bucks. Hey, you know what you get when you divide the circumference of a pumpkin by its diameter? I have no clue. Pumpkin pie. Get <laughs> pie. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> See, you like Yeah, it's a new one for you, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I try. I try. Hey, whatever your pumpkin is, whatever the perfect size, color, shape you're looking for, they got it right here at Wrinkle Pumpkin Farm. And they even got the pumpkin pie pumpkins. You got the ones that are Correct. perfect for making Correct. the pie. Correct. Yes. We got the brown ones underneath the trailer up here. Uh, if you, they're the best ones for making uh, pumpkin pie out of. If you take them, clean them off good, throw them on a cookie sheet, stab them with a knife a couple times, put them in the oven for like 350, cook them like a baked sweet potato or baked potato and uh, for like two, three hours, get them nice and tender. Then you can take them out of the oven, cut them in half, take the seeds and the stringy stuff out and then uh, scoop the meat out, put it in a food processor and divide two cups up and freeze them. When and you can make a pie whenever you want, yep. year round. P pumpkin pie year round, you gotta love that. And don't forget, Got goats here as well. You can feed the goats. Yeah, we've got goats, chickens, donkeys, cows, pigs, uh, and pumpkins. many cows, pumpkins. We got donk or hillbilly basketball, corn maze, straw maze. There's you pick zinnias here right now. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff out here. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Apple cider slushy. Oh yes, apple yeah. cider slushies are a hit. <laughs> and if you don't want the slushy, we do. If it gets colder, we're gonna have uh, hot apple cider, and we also can have cold apple cider. Something for everybody. And then right you can here. pair that with Katie's kettle corn. <laughs> there you go. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I'm getting hungry too. We're gonna go eat, guys. <laughs> There's plenty of food to be had here. It's Wrinkle Pumpkin Farm right here in Glen Carbon. There's a little of that apple cider slushy right there for you. That's good each right there. Hey, keep it right here. We got more coming your way. It's Studio STL. We'll give them pumpkin to talk about. <laughs> 